from the north, reaching out across the world, you are watching the Kofi channel. This one's Kofi. That one is Sam. And he really just left me in the fucking lurch. <laughs> um, Can't believe it. <laughs> so, sorry, my, my, my hand smelt like um, weird stale oranges and I wanted what them to not... What were you doing? What were you doing before the stream? We've been sitting here for an hour together, so, by the way. So I don't know what so what we, he's been doing with his hands. We've been having some slight audio hitches. Um, oh, is, we which, shouldn't we shouldn't have tried to run the weird. game off oranges. We shouldn't have tried um, to make orange batteries for this whole thing. We're going to be that means I had to dig out the weird cables, and <laughs> one of my weird cables smells like oranges. And it just transfers to anything that it touches, and I don't know why, but it really smells gross. I would say it's a feature, not a bug. I mean, like that's <laughs> that's that's the main thing. That's the main good thing. But I have an orange uh, guitar amp, um, and I mean, I've never checked to see whether it smells of oranges, but it would be cool. Well, it is orange. That it, has orange. It is amps very are, orange, obviously, um, because orange amps <laughs> yeah it's 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 on the nose it's on the nose that's all i'm saying oh i have a uh... oh the cable is definitely cursed i stole it from a cursed bingo hall <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah no i've seen the bingo hall. It's, yeah it's uh it's a bad one <laughs> <laughs> no it's not blessed by bingo seriously the bingo the yeah, sam has been you've been a million times happier since you stopped Stop working at a bingo yeah. hall. <laughs> <laughs> Stop your addiction to working at bingo halls. Um, shall we? Uh, shall we do it? Wait, 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 wait. I've got a treat because I fucked up the last time. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do two can cracks today. This is the first can of the evening. So um, enjoy. So I got to hold it up to the mic. The mic's very close this time. meaty okay clip it clip it <laughs> you didn't even put the cathedral reverb on for that oh that's true we want the ping that's pong true. effect as well the <laughs> anyway we're uh, we're playing next thick. Time. we're let's... playing uh oh this is armor's core six let's let's play cause play of the some... patriots the yeah <laughs> the cause of the, the lali lule lo there's um, something very Metal Gear Solid about this uh, this interface, though, like this screen right now. True. It's not just the giant mecha; it's it's the it's the UI design. Um, um, I, I, it's the name Bingtron in the corner. <laughs> I forgot about our name Bingtron. Um, We're Bingtron, legendary defender. Just <laughs> entirely <laughs> randomly, um, I did find uh, my favourite uh, tie-in merch for Metal Gear Solid. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, and um, that totally doesn't work. You have I'm to put that. You have to, to put that up on the Tumblr. You have to I put will. that up on the Tumblr. Will. Will. Um, it's it's funny. It's it's a special edition Haribo, um, um, not a Metal Gear Solid special edition Haribo. It's, it's just, definitely it's just, uh, Metal Gear Solid special edition I Haribo. It's it's twin. <laughs> it's Haribo twin snakes. Which I thought <laughs> Sam didn't like Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. And you'd probably be right, but it does occupy a special place in my heart because I never actually played the original version of the original. Well, you see, I played the original version of the original and still have it, by the way. Um, oh, I know you do. And, uh, but I never played the Twin Snakes. It's... <laughs> Someone <Dumb>. actually, <laughs> actually <laughs> clipped the can crack. That's so good. <laughs> and the worst way you can describe a can crack? What did I say? Huh. Oh um, my god. Well, oh right. no, I said meaty. I did call it oh, meaty. Oh, I just remembered what we were doing. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Um, oh, you're you're on that boss fight. Oh, we uh we made the coral happen last time. As a brief story recap, what I can even make of the coral, and then we died, and then we heard a weird new voice, 
um, that seems to be some kind of AI, and we think we might have finally found the good guy of this game, because I don't think Handler Water is the good guy. Um, yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you called it meaty. <laughs> I, I stand by it. It was. Noticed. It was meaty. <laughs> I, I don't think I even noticed that you called it meaty. That's no. I, I, I stand. I stand by it. I think. I think it was accurate. I, I like it. I like it. Um, I don't remember. I feel like we. I think we could be great foley artists just for that one sound effect. <laughs> Nothing else. Here's the thing. Like we're not great foley artists because we actually used a can crack to make that crack, can crack sound. You know, if we Oh, were we need something much more expensive, that's right, yeah. Fogley artists, and we'd be using something else to sound like a can crack. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. I'm... Um... Sorry, we're just shopping for, for better mecha stuff right now. It's uh, it's a very inspiring um, opener for the episode, I know. Um, but we, you Sorry, know, maybe, I, maybe I Sam some wants stuff last time and I didn't you remember didn't whether it. I equipped it. Um, anyway, let's... Yeah, let's, 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 uh, let's get her ass handed to us. I am going to get... You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Oh, do we have to start the whole be thing again? Yeah. Do we need to fight the mini-boss again? Yeah. Uh, we, we fought a mini-boss, but you know what? You'll see, because we've got to do it again, apparently. Which is real annoying. It should just let you jump in there. It's basically a different stage. I know. I don't know why this has got a, is one mission when it's um, definitely two missions. Yeah. I mean, you were dead for a minute there. And then you came back and had a different mission. That's Just sometimes you're dead for a minute there. It's go time. Why do you keep calling me that? My name is Bingtron Nine Thousand. <laughs> With uh, Chatter talking about things we could use as foley artists to make the can crack, I think we're talking about celery um, as a thing you could snap to make that sound potentially. Or rhubarb is also uh, rhubarb is also there. Or disturbingly bones. <laughs> Code one five. I need to depend. You need the metallic sounds you now. Oh, I have forgotten how to play this game. Eggshells, um, eggshells of what? Uh, cover an egg with um. <laughs> cover an egg with tin foil. <laughs> Why stop there? Get a soldering iron. Just <laughs> add an extra layer all around the egg with Solo. That was not entirely successful. That wasn't entirely successful, I have to admit. That was, um, that was not your finest. <laughs> but do you know what? I'm going to be encouraging. You got this. <laughs> that was just, that was just you... Learning the controls again. No it's yeah. been a week. No. It has sees. been a week. It's been a busy um, week. Right. Okay. I've got four weapons and I'm just. Code one five. Intruder sighted. It's, it's just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engaging. Oh, boy. Okay. 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 I can't get through the HQ. Cavalry isn't coming. Wipe them out. Six two one. AP at fifty percent. AP at thirty percent. Repair kits remaining. 
did you just turn into fizzy sparks for a second there? Um, I couldn't see your no. mech at all. You just just fizzy Stuff fizzy blue sparks. Just explodes a whole bunch, uh. which does sort of explain life, doesn't it? I. I'm aware that we're still discussing <laughs> cracking bones to make a meaty can crack sound. <laughs> um, I am... Chat, I am horrified. What? You, you, you brought this about. What this, madness this have I This is all on you. <laughs> Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Code 1-8. All units deploy for combat. I like that it's taken a good three minutes for them to actually scramble people to fight you. <laughs> like, it's just one AC. You'd think, you'd think the moment they're attacked, they'd be like, okay, we should probably send some people out rather than just use the people we've got wandering around. Just in case there are more people, you know? It's just one AC. I'm just saying that it's just one AC. Yeah, but look how how much the damage AC is. could this one AC do? Is the reason why they call our mechs ACs because um, we're providing incredible ventilation by shooting holes in them? Uh, no, they're armored cores. Yeah, if you want it, to be boring it, it's, about it's it, it's the name of the game. Yeah, if you want to be boring about Quite it, literally. it clearly stands for air conditioner. No, 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 no. I chat. I draw the line at people offering their Do own bones to make the foley sound. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've gone too far there. <laughs> that way lies madness. I mean, it depends. Um... <laughs> Do you, do you can <laughs> it depends do you consider um the the um uh if if someone offers their meat willingly that? uh that That's the um, control it would be the vegan Make your way in. Freegan, maybe um Okay, okay, so they're just joints cracking, they're not actually people saying, you know... <laughs> I mean, that's fine, like, if, if you, you know, if, you, if your joints crack and click a little bit, I mean, my knees do for sure. But, uh, not with the sound of a ring pull can opening, I think if, I think if that's going on, um, something's gone wrong. I don't know what. Just my knees, I mean like my knees, my toes, my wrists, um, what else, sometimes my ankles. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I click a lot, you know, when I, when I move about, I can't, I can't move anywhere quietly. <laughs> So here's our mini boss. I think he was trying to warn us about Han the Water. Which, I mean, I just assume that our mech pilot, our unnamed mech pilot, is just a really bad judge of character. Are you got it? Our mech pilot has a name. It's Bingtron 9000. I thought that was the name of the mech. No. <laughs> oh, wait, our name is Bingtron? But yes. <laughs> I thought that was just the name of our robot. Nope. Wow. I didn't realize that. Oh, 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 this guy is. One of Gen 4's lot. I hear you make fine hounds with the right training. Shame you'll have to die here. Another dead dog. Was it worth it, Walter? Yeah, definitely. Joints that crack gives you disadvantage on stealth rolls. You might as well be wearing chainmail. <laughs> uh, 
um, I I have a um, ankle that um, that cracks every time I take a step. The disturbing thing is it's not his ankle. <laughs> Attacking a what is that? Super. Pitiful dog. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You may have survived a little longer. You've had a different master. This actor's voice sounds really familiar, and I can't place it. I want to say Miller from Metal Gear Solid 5, but it's not totally unlike that, though. Right? I am... I am gonna go, like... I don't know, like, fairly recently I rewatched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and, uh, it does sound a little bit like, um, like Kimberly in the, uh, in the English dub. And yes, I do watch Full Metal Alchemist with the English dub. Um, just because that was how I first experienced it. I tend to watch things with subs more often, but... Some stuff I will typically watch in English. Oh boy. Mostly Dragon Ball Z. I don't know how to... <laughs> Fight individual ones without a sword. Like it's got, yeah, it's just it's so crazy maneuverable, isn't it? Yeah. But like the sword does not really help you with this style mech because you've not got the um, you've not got the agility. Two repair kits remaining. AP at fifty percent. That's true. Sido is played by Nicholas Roy. I look up Nicholas Roy, where I may have may have heard his voice before. Um, the worst part is I went Roy. Oh, like Roy Campbell um, <laughs> from Metal <Metagus> Solid. <laughs> Stay away. Oh yeah, he was in Barbie. It takes two. <laughs> so it pro it's probably that. Um, Uh, no, I mean, like, not not Full Metal Alchemist for sure. Like, I don't think he's been in anything that I've seen. Not even that many games that I've played. Oh, he was in Fire Emblem. So, potentially Fire Emblem? But you know what? I I don't I don't know. There is a good chance he just has a similar voice I mean, to someone. Yeah, I you know it is fairly normal for vocal directors to say, "I want this type of voice. Can you give me this type of voice?" So it may be that I'm recognizing the particular character trope rather than. All right. How dare so, you? So, this is where the coral come from. No, we're, we're just here. exploding Head because the of the coral. No, we're letting the coral out and it should have stayed in. I mean, in. this is a vein, yeah. Um, Wait, no. No. 621, get out of there. Guys, you can't start saying F now. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yes, you can. Yeah, I mean, I think you've notionally <laughs> died, and you're reborn to the new life of being a good guy suddenly. Who are you? An older type of augmented human, fourth generation. Have we made contact? Have this we? is very cryptic. I am heir, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. I thought we were you fighting must. the Rubiconians. Um, 
Kind of. In the coral flow. I don't think we had actually come across any native Rubiconians. Oh, okay. We, we okay, so we weren't... By Rubiconian, you don't mean like the colonists who we were fighting, like the liberation Yeah, no. People. Okay. That's what Interesting. I'm picking up. Interesting. But, yeah. And are there consciousnesses inside the coral? Is that what she's warning us about? Oh, maybe. Uh, this guy was in. Uh, this guy was in Final Fantasy, apparently. But I've not played a crazy number of Final Fantasies. Mm. I have mostly played um, nine and twelve. Ah, uh, yeah, I've not probably played fifteen. Um, now that would be fun though. I've often thought about it. Came that came out really recently. No, that was sixteen. Oh. Okay. Um, um, there are too many Final Fantasies. <laughs> oh, there are way, way more Final Fantasies if you're not counting the numbered ones. It, like, doubles them. <laughs> oh, You oh see, boy. the thing is, I get that this is hard and tense and, you know, just generally a very stressful experience for you, Sam. It is so very pretty. It is really cool. It, it's a really cool looking game. But this this fight in particular. Wait, that thing has... Does that thing have a shotgun? Shotgun? It really looked like it was shooting you with... Not with rockets, but with, like, scatter pellets at one point. When you got up close. It really looks like it's got a shotgun. Yeah, that. Oh. That's a shotgun. Why don't you have a shotgun? Stop what you're doing right now and get a shotgun. <laughs> Okay, but that probably means I need to start the mission again. <laughs> Do you even have access to a shotgun in the shop? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't just quit out of it just in case you've got a shotgun. Oh, oh my god, this... This fight looks so cool. <laughs> I'm losing badass. so badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know what? As long as we're all having fun. It's you know what? Let's let's be realistic. This is a from software game. This is a from software game that you haven't played before that you're playing on stream, which is brave enough as it is. Yeah. Let's face it. Um Oh Oh, oh, oh right. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, that yeah. that just so, murdered you, huh? Um but I mean let's be real. What would it would it really be a from software game if there wasn't a wall um, about uh, about a third of the way through? You know, yeah. Like I feel like that's just that's just a rite of passage. I'm not, and I know this isn't this isn't necessarily Dark Souls level hardcore, but it's not not that. Uh, Kim, you have our permission to say F. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't saying you can't say F when I die, but like... But you haven't died? When I, I think you died. <laughs> like, story deaths don't count. I guess the original F F to pay respects. Yeah, it was from not a story for the player game. character. Yeah. Yeah. 
Don't know if you remember, Sam. I didn't know that was a thing before we started doing these. Because, you know, oh. I'm, I'm just out of touch. Um, have, have you seen it now? Um, it's it's a Call of Duty thing, right? Yeah, that, yeah uh, that's why. Because I cause believe I it was uh, Call, of Call of Duty. 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 Black Ops. Just Black Ops. Um, the game starts with uh, trying to sort of... Pay respects. Kind of be you were at a funeral. I'm kind guessing. of be um, uh, more story story than than other Call of Duty games had been. And uh, part of that was oh, we need a sympathetic character, uh, like main character. Oh, their brothers died. They're they're at the funeral for their brother, and and then stand over the grave and. It's press just to press respect. F to pay respects. Um, and it's just such, like, a ridiculous... Why F? Because I would say the interact key is more often E. Um, you know? It doesn't matter. Yeah. But, yeah, no, that would be why, because I... I think I might even have, like, Call of Duty stuff, like, muted on social media. Like, I do not care for it. Oh. Either as a game or just conceptually, to be honest. Um, no, it's so much just that level of um, game that is war propaganda. I, I played, um, I think I played the first version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um and there was a mission on it where you were basically just using a helicopter with missiles and night vision to blow up a bunch of people who were running around on the ground and not any kind of threat. And I was like, this isn't a game. This is a massacring people simulator. <laughs> and I want no yeah. part of it. And I've not, not tried any of it since. I do not care to. I mean, Sam, I know you're into shooting a man in Reno just to watch him die. Um, <laughs> but personally, that's that's not for me. That's fair. It's, <laughs> it's not for everyone to shoot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Um, but I do also think, you know, it's it's oh, one of those things that you've got to try once in your life. That thing really fucks you up, the big the big blue ball of yeah, death. Yeah, no. I need to remember when it's getting close to half health to back off. Um, I may turn the game down and... Main system. Reactivate in combat mode. Oh, s up slightly. Whoa! It's fine. It's fine. You took it on the chin. It's probably fine. Can you get an upgrade to have an extra repair kit at some point? Because a lot, so. a lot of these things are actually coming uh, when they come down to the wires. If you have one more round of heal, you would actually, you know, not so much this. But I can think of a couple of other fights. Yeah, no. This, there's not yet been one that's been kind of close that whether close. you've got it or not yeah. but it's coming are we talking favorite fish to eat i mean oh yeah uh we got on it from cod <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the cod pipeline um oh what would what would your favorite fish to eat be um, I am really not a big fan yeah, of Yeah, I was going to say you're um, not. Uh, uh, I, I do like, you know, I do occasionally like a chip shop fish. Um, oh, and, that sounds good right um, now. Right? I have not um, had enough to eat today. <laughs> 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 I did not have lunch. So... So that that always used to be cod, like when I when I was growing up. But 
um, it has more often become Haddock um, lately just because cod is very oh, yeah. expensive and um, I can't super taste the difference very so short I yeah. um, like basso um, as well um, I can't really and I feel like the fishiest like fish that I probably quite like is uh, probably mackerel. Yeah, it's hard to get much more fishy than mackerel. Yeah, fair. but like, you know, um, I feel like there's just something about a smoked mackerel that's all right, but like weirdly all right for me that doesn't, doesn't much like fish. <laughs> Jan, I would love to do a cooking stream or like I would love to have time to make cooking videos on YouTube because I love cooking on YouTube, but I do not have, I don't really have the time, but I also don't have the equipment for that kind of thing. I don't have a camera that would do it. So I don't, wouldn't be able to light it properly. It would look pretty it would amateurish, definitely but be I would love to do it because I love cooking. Difficult. We could... <laughs> Oh, we could do. Boy. We could do your. We could do your ham recipe, Sam. Oh boy, um, I feel like ham isn't great for a stream just because. Um, uh, I think our. Because I think our followers are plenty dedicated. <laughs> so they could. They long. could watch. It, they could watch you make ham all day. <laughs> it does take um, a number of hours. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, um, my favorite thing to cook right now, um, is uh, jet stream ham. <laughs> um, uh, I have been cooking like a kind of very unauthentic, um, I don't know whether you really call it a gumbo but it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a red bean um, a red bean and kind of cured um, cured sausage stew it's really good a little bit spicy um, and it's just nice with a bit of rice but okay so sorry I was going to talk about fish um, oh yeah uh, for me I don't know whether it be the I don't know whether it'd be the one that I would actually like the flavor of most, but I think the thing that... If I saw it on a menu somewhere, I would definitely get it, would be a Dover, a Dover Soul. Um, and the reason for that is, A, it is nice, but I associate it with my grandpa. Because... Um, One of my uh, last and most enduring memories of him, uh, he died a very old man, but one of his last birthdays, we asked him what he wanted, and he said, I want Dover Soul from this restaurant. Oh. Oh, that I was sudden. Didn't realize um, my health was going down. But <laughs> Sorry, so that was a really heartfelt way. moment. <laughs> Interrupted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Um, but, you know, like, I, I, I don't actually know that that would necessarily be my favorite fish in all the world to eat, but it would be the thing that I would order if I ever saw it at a restaurant. But, like, you know, I don't go to restaurants that would serve Dover Soul. <laughs> I assume you have to get it from Dover for one thing, which, you know, we live in Edinburgh. Yeah, I <laughs> feel like you're you're more likely to find Scottish mackerel than <laughs> Dover sole. But well, I mean, like Scotland's famous for its salmon. Um, that's true. That's a whole thing. Um, apparently, if you get the real nice salmon, the real nice salmon here is real nice. But again, crazy expensive. What I will say is, um, I had um, I had sushi at a moderately nice um, sushi place in Japan one time, and the 
the tuna nigiri was the best tuna I've ever had. Um, one of the tastiest things I've ever eaten. That's it. I feel like if you're doing tuna in in sushi or sashimi, um, you've got to really have decent tuna. Oh, you, you got to nail it. Oh, uh, Kim's mentioning because Scotland, obviously, uh, Deep Five Mars bars. Um, <laughs> I, I, I will tell you this: I have never met a Scottish person who um, likes Deep Fried Mars bars. I think it is way more of a tourist thing. I, yeah, I've, I've never met um, a Scottish person. My boyfriend will go for a deep fried pizza though. Deep fried um, pizza is not which, bad. It's um, almost worse. Like. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so the thing is, like, a deep fried Mars bar is actually irritatingly quite, quite good. You have to be like in the right mood for it. It it has to be the right, the right sort of time. Like, if you. I can imagine if you have just done like a really big run or something like that, just really need need to rebuild some energy. Like deep fried Mars bar, I can I can imagine it, but it has to be really fresh. Um, oh yeah, otherwise it's just a crusty Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like your Mars but, bar extra crusty? <laughs> It genuinely does <laughs> give it give it a really really unique taste, and it makes it makes for some very interesting eating, I, if nothing else. The thing is, if you go to a chippy and ask for a deep fried Mars bar here, they will be rolling their eyes at you and yeah. judging you. If it's actually on the menu, a lot of people will be like, "What well, have you got a Mars bar there? Like, <laughs> uh, I will deep yeah. fry a Mars bar if you are bringing me a Mars bar to do that." Um, it's like a midnight diner situation. Like they'll cook it, but you got to bring the ingredients. <laughs> um. Um. Deep fried Oreo sounds like something I could do, though. I don't. I don't really love Mars bars. Is the thing. Like. I personally find that they they taste of sugar and not very much else. That's fair. Um. Sam Flowers is sharing uh, sharing Edinburgh stories about cool places doing sweet treats. And in fairness, Edinburgh is a beautiful, uh, beautiful city, beautiful architecture. It is built entirely on um, uh, fancy, 17... fancy coffee and cake shops. Oh, that is ninety percent of its economy. I was going to say it's entirely <laughs> built on seventeen paradoxical hills. Oh yeah, um, that too. Yeah, if you're talking which, just in terms of topology, <laughs> topology, um, um, you you are always going uphill um, somehow. <laughs> um, which is interesting. What I never realised because, like, when we talk about Edinburgh being weird with hills. Um, the south side of Edinburgh, like the, the old town, whenever you turn a corner, you somehow end up on top of where you just were, and it, it makes no logical sense, and yeah. maps don't. Because maps everything don't is burrowed <laughs> in and over itself. Um, <laughs> maps basically don't help you get around, um, and it's difficult to know where anything is in relation to other things. Like, you can know the way to places, but it's very difficult to know where you are. Um, 
I haven't realised, but the the north side of Edinburgh, which is like quote unquote the new town, in that it's mostly Georgian and Victorian. Um, I had a moment like that the other week, because the oh. bus, my bus was diverted, and I got off a stop later than I normally did, and walking from the bus stop, I normally have to cross a river. I need to cross the water with Leaf to get to my work. And I crossed at the bridge that was one down from the normal one. And I realized I was about 50 feet. This bridge was about 50 feet higher above the water than the bridge yeah. I normally cross. But I was only like a block down the road yeah, is the no. thing. And I do not understand <laughs> how I was 50 feet higher in elevation. But I find it delightful. Um, yeah, if you're talking sweet treats in Edinburgh, though, um, uh, you know, I guess if you're ever if you're ever in Edinburgh, um, there is a place which is not at all secret because in the summer it will have um, lines basically around the block. But it's called Mary's Milk Bar, and it's down on oh. the grass market. Yeah, no, um, definitely. And they make their own chocolate, and they make their own ice cream. And but they make weird... They only make weird ice cream. That's oh, yeah, the they only thing. make really, really weird ice cream. Um, and I have had I have had lavender and rosemary ice cream from them before. Um, I have had, what, marmalade and licorice ice cream from there before. Um... It all looks like it should taste bad. But the thing is, somehow they make it all good. Like, they have, I think they have milk free options as well. Um, yeah, no, it is. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that flame sword. I don't really know how to count uh, your flame sword. <laughs> um, uh, parry. <laughs> Obviously. Parry and go for the backstab. I gotta parry and go for the backstab. <laughs> Shit. My repost game <laughs> is just not up to scratch. It'd be so cool to parry these missiles. <laughs> yeah, no, Mary's Milk Bar is great. Um, yeah, no, they do do sort of weird chocolate with weird stuff in it and uh, all of it is amazingly good and there's always I a feel queue. like I got some amazing cardamom chocolate from there Ooh, a wee while back that does sound good there's always a queue of like 30 people waiting to um, there's no seating that's, inside that's you've got in to take it summer. away um, but um if you catch it at the right time, especially sort of middle of the day when it's not the summer, um, it it's pretty all right. Um, but oh yeah, I always try to try to stop there. This is so good. But yeah, I uh, second ago when we were talking about like. Um, not being able to have maps work um, in uh, in Edinburgh um, until fairly recently. Sometimes, if you ask for directions on Google Maps to certain places, Google Maps would fully just tell you to jump off a bridge. That's how <laughs> bad it is. <laughs> oh yeah. Just going, oh, you're trying to get there. Um, well, it yeah, looks like you should right be able there. to turn right then. Turning and right you takes you off a bridge. <laughs> oh, Kim, uh, you should definitely go and visit Manchester. You were in Manchester not long ago, right? I was in Manchester. Not you had a good ago. time. Um, I've never been. I feel like I'm letting the side down. But 
you know, um... Everyone I know who's in the know loves Manchester. Yeah, that's that's fair. It is a really nice city. Johnny moved there a year or two ago, and you know, Johnny and Sasha love it. I'm not sure that I knew that um, Johnny was based in Manchester now. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's because it's less expensive than London. <laughs> That's entirely and, fair. You know, they, they, uh, I, you know, they, they quit their day jobs. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I was surprised that Johnny was in London for so long. So <laughs> Yeah, like, no, in fairness, um, I agree. Oh, how, how am I dealing with this phase two? Um, okay. Oh, um, Law has just posted a whole bunch of fantastic ice cream flavors from a place that's more local to them, I think, but has has Mary's Milk Bar vibes. Apple cider sorbet, I would go for. Um, oatmeal raisin. Oh, chocolate coffee bean. Butter almond. Yeah. Salty. Oh, oh not too salty pretzel. Pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, dear. Um... I would go for the cantaloupe sorbet, I think. Oh, I've got to get in close to avoid the missiles, but I can't get in close because of the sword. Oh, and the massive blue uh, blue explosion of death. That yeah. one's um, um, but there is this is a real wall, them. isn't it? Um, that's all right. I, I. I did get real close there. I was well into phase two, which is better than I've done before. Um, Oh, great ice cream. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, Picard would be raging, though. <laughs> I wanted tea. Not ice cream. And hot. Picard just lets his ice cream melt and then sips <laughs> it. <laughs> just eats his <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> So sort of tore me, uh, tore me to shreds. Um, I'll tear you apart. Oh boy, um, I am in a weird brain space today. So <laughs> it's just well, going to be. You, some are you ever in a normal brain space, I mean, Sam? No, but I, like, it's, 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 I, you know, it's, it's degrees of weird. Yeah, you didn't give me a you're, lot of You're still of standing, there. you're still standing. You got two repair, you got one repair kit. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. No, oh, you, you, fuck, 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 fuck. What I want to know is, um, what about, uh, hear me out. Hear me out. What about um, what about some kind of savoury ice cream? Because obviously, like you get sort of savoury custards. What if you were to kind of freeze them? Because you know, if you're if you're so inclined, you can buy ice cream for dogs, which is you know presumably savoury and meat based um, or has meat in it. I'm just wondering, like, why why do you not see more often um, frozen delicacies that are savoury? Yeah. Um, I, I, crab ice cream. Ooh. Or crab cream. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am just imagining Mr. Krabs trying to, like, add this on as a dessert. <laughs> it would be vegan unfriendly. I'm not saying it would necessarily have to be, like, involve meat, by the way. I'm just interested in, um, for want of a better term, savoury ice cream. Kim's pointing out that, uh, you know, aspic um, is just savory jello. I would say that jello is sweet aspic. Yeah, personally. like, and, um, um, savory jelly, I would say, far predates. Um, yeah, because, sweet like, jelly. whenever you make a, a stock and just leave it, you've got aspic, essentially. Right? Because of all your. All yeah. the gelatin you. You've slow cooked out of your whatever it is you're you're making into stock. Sorry, that one got away from me. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence just whoop off it went. Sometimes they do that. I was distracted by all the really cool looking explosions. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, you're doing well. Now, now, now. So, I have missiles. I have sword. Right. Okay. Okay. We got this. Aspic potato salad Christmas cake? Um. Wow. Sam, um, apparently you should avoid the, uh, the blue ball of death for the sake of your poor PC. Um, yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, I can't believe I just basically wasted an entire repair kit. That nah, it's fine, horrifying. it's fine, you're learning. Right. Come on, come on. Oh. You see, even... Even right. the robot voice is saying you're doing well. Right, come on, come on, come on, just hit yeah, it yeah, with yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here with everything. Yes. What have we got? Come on. Where are they? Where are they? Oh shit, that's a lot of missiles! Oh, 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 oh. Sam, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh my god. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. You are gonna get this. That one. was so you are, cool. You are 100%. <laughs> I should be really bummed that, get that I didn't get it, but that was such. That was so that fucking was, cool. That was incredible. I am that was incredible. Fucking. Oh. oh. You deserved that one, but. But you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Um, it's now a good. It's now a good moment for the uh, for the second, the second uh, meaty meaty uh, click. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh. Um. Uh. What? What? Oh. What, what effect are we? <laughs> um. I would kind of like the ping pong reverb, by the way, just to make it extra sickly. I was going to say meaty click, and I've just realized it's not a click, it's a crack. So are we ready for the for the uh, meaty, meaty crack? Wait, 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 wait. Right. I can't believe you're getting two. Are you ready? Oh, no. I'm not sure that the effect came across very no, well. No, I, d I didn't hear that. It was very subtle. I didn't hear that. Oh, no, it was on mute. Oh, no. Oh. Ah! Good grief. What happened there? Oh. 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 Could you guys hear that? Yeah. I think they could they hear it. But, but, oh, I like this. Oh, I forgot to... I, I have a... I have a button on my um, recording software that lets me do this. I use it sometimes, but it's not yeah. as bad. Um, this is going to make people feel right. sick.
I can just I can audio just damn audio you. Damn you. Yeah. You can just audio that me. Yeah, like, ah. like as long as, as you long say as you a long say enough, a long sentence, enough sentence, sentence, then, then it just, it just, it just gets very, gets very confusing. confusing. <laughs> You know what? I let's 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 go fight this thing. Let's go fight this thing. Oh, we make such good quality content here on the Kofi Sam channel. This one's Kofi. That one's Sam. Seriously, Sam gets one new toy, and then you, he's just... I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think we might want a little bit less of that that subtle reverb. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that looks that's perfect. Okay, so let's watch Sam die in like 20 seconds this time. After that spectacular effort. Flowers, that ping pong effect is what you experience after you have too much Capri Sun? What the? What is in Capri Sun where you're from? What and the? And how do I get fuck? it? <laughs> I mean, I know Capri Sun is good, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I do experience an acid trip when I have Capri Sun, but like not in a bad way. <laughs> not in a bad way. <laughs> M is sending us a passage, but uh, a package. But I mean, um, I suspect that um, if Capri Sun <laughs> contains the things that I have to assume it contains, it's not gonna <laughs> not gonna get through customs. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I know that uh, I know that there is no world where um, Capri Sun contains hallucinogenic compounds. <laughs> but if it did, except in the Capricious Sun universe, uh, the ca that that is what Capri Sun stands for, the Capricious Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's okay. You, you always get a okay. shit one after okay. the good one. Yep. After, after the good one, you always <sighs> get a shit one. We've seen it so many times what on this channel. What the fuck is magic we, we saw, catnip? Oh, I thought boy. all catnip is magic. Um, For cats. I, I guess. I guess. <sighs> all cats are magic. It's a fact. No, you. you oh. uh, we're all talking about <laughs> Capiscum. <laughs> oh, no, that's. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, shout out. Um, um, M made some cat pre sun art. You know, uh, cat pre sun, but with cats, you know? Wait, made out of cats or for cats? No, uh, like with cats on the with cats on the I'll show you I'll show you later um, but with cats on the uh, yeah uh, she did some really cool art um, designs for cat be sun new flavors cat feed I see I see right <laughs> well I'll show you after the stream yeah I love how she says that she's picking up a massive heat signature when everyone can clearly see the hundreds of missiles that have just been fired. Yeah, but like, sometimes, you know, you're just a bit of a moron and I'm not certain that our pilot isn't 
kind of a moron. Yeah, like, I have they to assume are he's a bit of a meathead, you know? Handler Walter for some reason. I don't know that they're necessarily trusting him. I just think they they like getting paid. That's true. You know, they've presumably got a lot of uh, not a big space family evil. to feed. We're you know? just an idiot uh, or capitalist. Oh, I had two repair kits too, and it just wouldn't let me heal. <laughs> oh, oh so it, it's very much like uh, Jedi Fallen Order then. <laughs> you're yeah. just spamming the heal button and your dozy little backpack droid is just <laughs> not uh, not playing ball. To be fair, that that does m more feel like um, because this game was in the middle of me doing seven things and I was pressing yeah. an additional button rather than you gotta, um, you gotta get your head in the game, Sam. Jedi, which actually felt malicious from. Um, oh yeah, like BD BD one just BD1. isn't paying attention to what's going. I wonder why it is and whether it's deliberate. It feels like it should be deliberate, but I don't trust that it actually is in that case. You know, it, like I love Jedi Fallen Order. It would seem like a very Jedi Fallen Order thing to just have a glitch where the healing doesn't go through. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I've been looking away for chat for a second. Oh. I'm just going to catch up with myself. Oh. Calendars. AP at thirty percent. Hell yeah. I mean, I it may in the 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 Jedi Fallen Order thing with BD One just taking a long time to give you your healing. Um, it may actually be an intentional feature. Um, I don't know. It does kind of take away from the well time to heal, but then the healing happens so quickly in that game. It's not like taking a chug of your Estus flask in Dark Souls or anything. Um, oh, Em, that's so cool. So everyone... Um, Oh, everyone who's not currently on Twitch chat, um, M's cat is going to be in a calendar for charity. Um, had a had a <laughs> kitty <laughs> photo shoot. I'm sorry, my 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 brain went to a very silly place there. Um, I I I feel like a lot of the time when when people um, pose for calendars for charity in this country. Um, it tends to be naked. Um, well, I mean, cats famously <laughs> don't wear people clothes. I don't know about famously. Most animals don't wear people clothes. Um, well, you know, if you want a really naked cat, then um, can, can I recommend uh, Idris Elba in Cats? <laughs> No, because <laughs> no, you can't. You've done it. Before. You've done it. You do this all the time. I know. It's just the best film that has ever been made. Um, in yeah, it's gone history. beyond recommending the film, and now you're just specifically recommending Idris Elba's nakedness. But like, <laughs> Idris Elba is weirdly naked at, at a certain point in that film, and um, it's it's weird. <laughs> I am mystified because I could 
I could understand um I could understand you being I am weirdly fond of um of Cats 2019. It is a goofy guilty pleasure. But no, you legitimately love Cats 2019. Oh yeah, I, I think love you might Cats think it's a good film. Um I I <laughs> I don't think it's a good film, but I think it's uh like incredibly important film. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it it just sort of shows what we are as humanity. Um. <laughs> wow. I mean, I think it's interesting because, um, you know, we, we, you and I, not on the stream, but we've talked about Andrew Lloyd Webber, and I think we broadly oh. both agree that he's not very good. Oh, no. <laughs> um... He's not only a terrible, terrible songwriter, he's also just a... a oh, yeah. <laughs> a complete... Um, Dick. Dick will be fine, you know, like... Yeah. He's a dick. Um, I was going to come up with something more... Cl uh, more, more cleverer -er -er than that, and... Uh, you're busy. It just you know, you're, you're fighting a giant mecha. Wasn't quite coming there. Um. I want to say something along the lines of... Um. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's gone. <laughs> um. Um. But no, I, th I just think it's interesting. Like, not that, not that there's actually anything wrong with liking Andrew Lloyd Webber's stuff. By the way, um, I would never, I would never, um, I would never. I hope I would not try to yuck people's yum that way. Like, I, I, you know, I think what people enjoy is subjective, and like, if you enjoy that, that's awesome because. My God, he's written a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but um, I just think it's really funny that you're not particularly an Andrew Lloyd Webber fan. You don't particularly love the songs in Cats or anything like that. You just love no, the No, there is just Cats. something <laughs> really special about Cats 2019. And it's really weird because it's like... Um, part of it is... Is, um, is actually the really weird place that they went to with with the special effects and because like uh tom hooper as a director i'm not like amazingly fond of i didn't think all that much of les mis um which he also did i didn't think it was like visually particularly special mm. um but like just for the weird factor, like Cats 2019 has has it. It went out on a limb to actually do something really weird. And uh, I, I can't deny that. I can't deny that. And in fairness, and I think you could say the same thing of the musical the, Cats as well. Right. The, the musical one Cats thing is. I will weird. say about uh, Cats 2019 is. Um, they genuinely needed to double down more um, because, like, they they went, oh, we we have made the thing and people think it's weird and we need to sort of back off from that a bit. And I feel like they mostly needed to go, yeah, we made something weird and you should go watch it because it's weird, not because it's, you know, the best-selling musical broad on Broadway or whatever. Um, <laughs> I feel like um, there... Um there is a couple of actors among them who realised that it was really weird and really 
went into it. Um, there, there is one of the actors who uh, <laughs> is one of the only actors I've uh, found from the actual film who uh, like made an Instagram post with the tag uh, "release the butthole cut." Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but he, you could tell he was genuinely really fond of that film and. Um, I mean, I think, I think it is cool that, um, I think it is cool that a studio financed someone to be that weird on that kind of scale. Um, that's that's pretty nice, you know. What whatever and whatever it turned out as, I genuinely you can't deny that. This sounds really weird. But um, I, I am really sad that uh, Cats was a flop because the next logical step, Cats 2, <laughs> no, is, is to do Starlight Express. And I want to know, you know, with the backing of the weirdness of Cats, what what you would do with Starlight Express. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd be more likely to remake a Vita. Yeah, um, no, I don't. I don't. I'm think surprised they haven't remade a Vita actually. I mean, I don't think I'd see it, but <laughs> but I know you. I know you love Starlight Express. <laughs> I know you want to go to the Starlight Express Theater in. Uh, is it in Germany? It's, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's really weird how much I love certain um, Andrew Lloyd Webber properties. Considering as I, I am not not a big necessarily a big fan of um, his song songwriting abilities, but like, um, I mean, uh, it, no, it's fair. The, like the idea of hey, this is. Um, and it's partially because I went to see it when I was a kid, and I feel like I thought, oh, musicals, they must they must be a bit crap, a bit boring, a bit whatever. Um, and I went to see a musical where they were skating around a theater <laughs> on roller skates. Um, there's something special about it for me that like again it's not like actually something I think is high art and amazing I think it's really fun though um, they they can they can, there's always something you know that like it's very rare to see something that is like 100% no good there's there's always something. like that's it um, sometimes it can be buried under a lot of stuff and you can't find it but there is always like I I mean look Sam won't agree with this for sure but I think there are bits of Jesus Christ Superstar that absolutely rock I can see um, it I can see it um, I and I can certainly see why You bastard, fuck little wank shit. Oh, that was the word you were saving for Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, flowers. Hyper-realistic, <laughs> sexy trains. That's what we need. <laughs> um, with... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, just, just horny for trains. <laughs> I mean, yeah, have you seen... Unfortunately, something that me and Andrew Lloyd Webber clearly have in common. <laughs> oh, um, uh, and um, and Odin in the Bifrost incident. Um, can confirm this. Um, 
<laughs> so um, Rachel Hughes took the lead on the first song, Ooh. Odin. Ooh. And, oh, here we go. This is exciting. Um, but anyway, when she wrote um, Odin's lines in that and in Losing Track, um, she was very clear that Odin's main motivation is being so horny for this train. She just wants I mean, to fuck the train. That That is just um, obvious from the rest of the... the the entirety of Bifrost, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, but Odin is very horny for that train. <laughs> I will say that in rehearsal, um, what became mile after mile after mile after mile after mile after mile, after mile for a while was want to fuck a train, want to fuck a train, want to fuck a train, want to fuck a train. Because we did placeholder lyrics for a lot of things until we got them, uh, <laughs> got the actual lyrics in place. don't wish that version had stayed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think we're better off with the lyrics we've got. And I still tell Odin to fuck the train. So, you know, like... And there isn't a train fucker cart. <laughs> oh god. Someone just said 10th anniversary re-release and I was going, oh, when when is that? Um 2027? Oh we're a little while. <laughs> We're a little while off, but we've just had the 10th anniversary of, um... Oh, wait, just... Sorry? Yeah, we just... No, we've had, um... That was... That was a year... We've had the 10th anniversary of Ulysses, though. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was this summer. We brought it out in August. I was there. But yeah, no, it is really interesting because actually um, a lot of like band events have had or are coming up to their 10 year anniversary and it does not seem like that long. Um, take a little refocus break you still have this gotta stretch out the back you, you you still have this that's the thing it's definitely a um from self game yeah uh, because i <laughs> i am just getting that much closer Gradually, but not consider it's a scatter graph, you yeah. know, with a clear line. This is a gatekeeper boss though, right? Like this is the boss that you beat and then afterwards your skills have been refined so much that actually I like to think so, but um stuff becomes that little bit more manageable. It's Genichiro, you know? It's, um... Oh, man, what would the equivalent boss be in, um... In Bloodborne? Yeah, what would it um, be in Dark Souls, actually? You'd know better than I would. Now, in pinwheel, Dark Souls... Pinwheel, right? Like, there's no way you can be... Pinwheel's so difficult. 
if Dark Souls, I want to say it's a uh, Capra Demon. Like, um, there is. I feel like for me, there was a wall at Capra Demon. Um, oh, Capra Demon is a good. I think Capra Demon is because. I think that's more environmental rather than actually the enemy. I yeah, just think you're in the shittiest arena like it, to fight a thing like Capra Demon. It sort of teaches you to use the whole of the environment to your advantage. True. Um, I So, uh, chat, just jumping in before you mourn Cheesecake's death. Um, Cheesecake is being Scrooge McDuck and is swimming in money. Oh, right. <laughs> um, Cheesecake has not been murdered. I, I we would, have just put a, a lot of, of spare of change all over. Um, top of the stream. And, yeah. Um, I... I I was wondering what what a prompt it. Um, I I sort of forgot what we had done to Cheesecake. No, we're doing a Scrooge McDuck thing. It's fine. Cheesecake's fine. Um, uh, candidates for the wall boss, the gatekeeper boss in Bloodborne, um, Father Gascoigne, who is only the first. Um, I feel like only the first um, non-optional boss in that game. I have got to say, I didn't I mind Father say, Gascoigne um, too much. He wasn't that bad, but I love the story about him just glitching and eating himself out of the arena to his death. <laughs> uh, I want to say, like Priestess Amelia, uh, Vicar Is Amelia, I found really tough, but not as tough as. Um, I think it's called something like Tainted Beast, but all of its strikes are poison. Um, and it was the one that really clued me into, okay, you've got to go in prepared. You can't just rock up and hope you'll be okay. Um, but I I did find Vukra Media really tough. Yeah, um, no. Um, but having beat her, I, beta, I, I then like beat <laughs> like Amygdala first time. I feel like we talked a lot about... Um, about Bloodborne while um, while we were playing um, uh, Jedi, Jedi, yeah. Um, but since then, I think I've uh, watched a full playthrough of Bloodborne. <laughs> um, oh, nice! We still got we still got to play it. I want to play it on stream at some point. Come I on, think... Sony, do the right thing. Yeah, just stick it on PC. Just stick but it on like, PC. I, if you know, like this day is not coming soon, Sam. But like, if the day comes where I get a PS5, I will just bring my PS4 here. You know, That's I'll just keep the PS4 here from then on. I think the thing about Vicar Amelia is the whole sequence of Vicar Amelia is actually quite distressing. Yeah. Um, so that no. in itself makes the makes the fight harder. What I will say is that Bloodborne. I probably like. I probably said this before. You've probably heard this before. So like, sorry, but I do think Bloodborne is some of the best horror I've ever seen in video games because it's not that it's jump scary, but it has this amazing sense of foreboding and dread all the time. Yeah. Um, and that dread to me is not just the fear that the next corner you turn around, something is going to kill you. It's that you're about to discover something truly gnarly and nasty. But as you get deeper and deeper into the game, you realize that the truly gnarly and horrible and most horrifying monster in the game is you as you get better at the game. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I feel like there's there's something to be said for the amount of the game that is um, it falling apart as you continue to play it, like yeah. the the hunter's dream just um, yeah. slowly being more and more consumed by fire as you get on in the game, and just like.
I don't... I, I, I see your point. Flowers is that, like, as you get further into the game, as you get better, like, in some ways it is more possible to just hack away at them. But I actually think that that in itself is is a, is a strong horror element to it. The fact that you... In a lot of games, like in Dark Souls, you get this sense of overcoming incredible odds. In Bloodborne, you kind of get the feeling that by the end, if things get you, they're overcoming incredible odds. And that to me is quite frightening. Oh yeah, no. As you get as you get more insights, when you start seeing things that have always been there, you just couldn't see them before. I love that. That is the sort of thing that I feel like Eternal Darkness was trying on the GameCube, and they couldn't quite couldn't quite pull it off. But Eternal Darkness, another great horror game. Yeah, probably not this year, but we we should do something. We should do a spooky. We should just do a spooky episode. That's a one-off. That's the thing. Like, we could we could do it. if it was a one-off this year. We could do it. We could do like Luigi's Mansion, um, Scarescraper. You know. What? What? Um, that is procedurally generated Luigi's Mansion. It's in Luigi's Mansion Three. So oh. we wouldn't have to play like a whole playthrough, which I think might be a bit. Um, well, I'm just trying to think of like one-off horror things we could do. Or oh, it's got it's got a multiplayer mode. Like one of us is Gooigi, and you know, we're we're a good channel. We are. A we goo we do channel, like some goo on this channel. Um, so we could see about that in a in a week or so. Oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Right. Come on. The waves are intensifying. Raven, get clear. No repair kits remaining. What a moment for that no repair right. kits remaining voice to come up just as the music changed. Left shoulder ammunition. Dramatic. So I have a question. Yeah. And it's not important, but I guess I'm asking I'm asking everyone, um, including chat. Uh, so everyone I'm meaning like you and chat basically. <laughs> uh, and you know, YouTube people, you can comment. This is a fully automated um, uh, mech that we're fighting. Right? So why does it have humanoid arms and legs? Why was that necessary? Why not? Thought it'd be cute. The people who designed it. It is cute. Ah! Oh, I, I do. Ha, I do rate the cuteness of this mecha we're fighting. Bulteus. I feel like. <laughs> Uh, chat started getting horny for the Bolteus last time. Well, so. you know, um, and you were like, "Wait, no! You should be getting horny for um, the the disembodied voice that's talking to us." <laughs> well, you know what? Nobody's mentioned hips at all this episode. That's true. <laughs> um, unless unless it's gone past, and I've missed it. Um, we've not we've not mentioned any meaty, voluptuous hips. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, apparently we have talked about hips. So, okay. Uh, and overpositors, obviously. <laughs> it goes without saying the overpositors, right? Obviously, we've talked over about overpositors. Positors. Say no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why did you do that? 
what I will say is whoever designs these mech parts and engineers the wheels that are at the bottom of your feet um, does a really good job because you think about all the punishment they have to take. Um, I think it's actually jets at the bottom of my feet, but yeah. Oh, I assumed you were rolling around no. a lot of the time. I am. Um, I'm. I'm locked onto this enemy, so you can't see at the moment. But um. Oh, crusty Seambird, we are still very much on this fight. <laughs> oh. It's a difficult fight. Either that or Sam's build is absolutely shocking. I... No, because last time we tried it with, with, with less legs and it just didn't work. I thought well. we tried the, the mission before that with less legs. No, we oh, tried no, no, this no, mission you're right, you're right, you're with right, less legs, you're right. and it just didn't work nearly as well, so I'm... Do you know what this is? Mm. This is the Muscle episodes Center. where we fought Muscle Santa. <laughs> 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 uh. Just, you know, that, that sexy, hot, dark Jedi Santa. That was a good episode. For me, I have to fight him. <laughs> when I played the game, I did not enjoy that fight. <laughs> I actually didn't really enjoy... Um, I didn't enjoy... Uh, didn't enjoy Second Sister very much. Uh, the final really? Second Sister. No, it just didn't really... I don't know, the, the lightsaber oh, dueling the bit, just I never quite... One. Yeah, the first oh, time... The first one was really good. I I did I think just, that the final one... Um, I never felt like I got the patterns down, and that's on me. Like It's not necessarily to do with the, the boss design. Um, yeah. Because the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay of that was great. Like I actually really liked the standard enemies. A whole lot, um, but boss fights for me were maybe the bit of the game that I didn't like quite as much. Yeah, uh, um, I think that's fair. Um, but I think it is very difficult to design. I imagine it must be a really difficult job to design a satisfying boss fight in a game that's supposed to be difficult and without making it is a lightsaber completely game completely impossible yeah well to design a boss fight that's actually like a lightsaber duel in Star Wars is almost undoable yeah Can you stop hitting me with missiles? But that then you great. you have to design a boss fight that makes it feel at least like you're fighting someone who's like evenly matched with their space druid powers. Yeah. And it's it's just uh I imagine it must be a really difficult balance to keep. And because it's Star Wars, the final boss is always gonna be someone with a lightsaber. Like Star Wars doesn't branch out very much in that way. Oh, oh, sh shit. What's up? Oh, my controller disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good time I'm, for it. Um, <laughs> I'll take this moment to say uh, to say happy birthday to Law's dad. <laughs> I'm going to just bring us over here so I can reconnect with my, my uh, controller. Oh, boy. Um, that was... Never a dull moment, huh? Um, inconvenient. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, no. I have just... Um, there is a chance I might be running out of battery because uh -oh. I went on a real Hitman kick at the weekend. and um, You have multiple... Um, you have more than one of these controllers in, in your house, right? Because you got a Mario one as well. Um, that is true, but that one's a wired one, and 
it is terrible quality. Hey, um, if if you uh, like switch controllers, then don't buy third party. <laughs> <laughs> true. Um, true. True. And I mean, if you don't like switch controllers, what's wrong with you? The the Switch Pro controller is. Okay, no, no. I mean, Joy Cons are pieces of shit, but like, <laughs> um, the Switch Pro controller is genuinely one of the best controllers I've ever. Um, I certainly the most versatile. Like, it's the one that best combines comfort and versatility. That's what I'll say. I just wish it had analog triggers like the Dual Shock does. Yeah. That's basically the one thing it's missing, and because I have I have Mario uh, Mario 3D All Stars, and playing Mario Sunshine on the Switch is still fun, but the original Mario Sunshine on the GameCube, the GameCube had analog shoulder buttons, um, where actually it controlled the flow of your water cannon. Um, and so it was a different amount of flow depending on how much you pressed it. And if you pressed it all the way down, you planted Mario on the spot and you could aim the aim the water. And now on the Switch, it just cuts straight to that. There's no like degrees of pressing it down. Um, and that's a shame. It doesn't break the game or anything, but it is a nice feature that's gone just because of the design of the controller. And... You know, I don't think you could do that very well on a Joy-Con, so I get why it wouldn't be on the Pro Controller. Yeah. It's a shame. And, yeah. Oh, we're on a... Uh, M, we're on a PC right now. Um, oh. Like, yeah, like a good chunk of what we've been playing has been on PC, but it's always been with Switch controllers. I don't think we've ever actually played anything. Maybe Here's FTL we've played keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I have uh, played but a that's lot been about it. keyboard and mouse. Um, a lot of my gaming happens on PC with a Switch controller, which is a really weird way of doing things. Um, but I really like the controller. And um, actually, if you, um, if you are playing games on Steam, um, it has just an amazing versatility to make controllers work with whatever game you're playing um, and it is uh, Wii Remote <laughs> give it a shot um, I mean I think if you're playing on your own and you're playing capability out. to um, connect to a PC then Steam pretty much can control it which is really cool <laughs> Because um. I didn't, I didn't know you could even do that with a Nintendo thing. Because I have always been using my old Xbox 360 stuff for Steam, um, which it's kind of hard to go back to the Xbox 360 controller. I used to think it was a lot of fun, but I just can't be doing with it now. That's the thing. I think. Oh, but I think it's about how you. S do it like I dug out my old GameCube controller fairly recently and it didn't take me long to get back into it but it was weird at first shit but yeah like I in fairness mouse and keyboard for a lot of stuff is better um that's the I thing. I think, like, if, if you're playing a first-person shooter, if you're playing Portal or something like that, like, I think mouse and keyboard is actually a better option if you're on PC. Um, I think if you're playing something like Stardew Valley, there's probably not a lot in it anyway. If you're playing StarCraft, then... No, 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 uh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you... Yeah! yeah! Sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, see, FPS, mouse and keyboard, yeah. Um, Enemy systems down. 
if it's third person, I generally prefer a controller. Um, oh which, yeah, no. Which is I why. Think that's fair. I think why? That's fair. Oh. Oh. Um, Law says they yeah. prefer to play Borderlands with a controller. <laughs> that that is um, very complimentary, Ark Salem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Definitely first time. You didn't see any other times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so pink. All that color. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I think this is an important story. That was just a glimpse. Oh, that sounds bad. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. Really bad. A premonition of the storm of flame that will burn Rubicon. Oof. Starting to think Coral's not good. Starting to think Coral's maybe not great. <laughs> Um, oh, wow. Sorry. I am. Oh, boy. That. You're pumped. There's, there's just you something be about beating a FromSoft <laughs> boss that just. Oh, yeah. It's Coral very good. Is the new goo. <laughs> <laughs> Coral is the new goo. We just need to find a train. We found trains. We have oh, then walked then over a lot of trains okay. in this game. Just reposition my mic. Like a flock of birds or a but don't fish. touch it. Why are we still <laughs> hanging out with this asshole? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Somewhere in the ice field, a huge mass of He's going to tell us to get all the coral. Um, look, he's he's trying to make his own reef. <laughs> Oh, he's just gaslighting us because we we don't have the up-to-date um, genetic modifications. So he's just like, oh, obviously oh you're going to hear voices. You've got shit genetic modification. Oh, my God. He works for Apple. He's trying to get us to update. Fuck's sake. We need to update to the augmentations 15 otherwise. We won't get the latest security updates. Um. I have to see where they're taking us. <laughs> How this struggle over the coral ends. I must, as a Rubiconian. Oh right, yeah, Krusty Steambird. I did just describe the plot of um, <laughs> Deus Ex, didn't I? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Does, De Does Deus Ex work well on modern machines? Because I've never played it. I mean, oh, I, I think we do. We do have original. a. I I I I meant um. We human do. Revolution. We do broadly speaking have a no RPG rule on this channel just for our sanity. <laughs> to be fair, um, Deus Ex is fairly linear, so um, you could. Rest up. I don't think it would take sort of longer than than. All right. Um, also, I mean, do we? Because oh yeah, um, that was one of the first things we agreed. Because I, I know we've, we've played um, uh, Fallen Order, which is kind of an RPG. Ah, it's we've not. played um, oh, we played Cthulhu Saves Christmas, but that doesn't count. Uh, we that played Hollow hours. Knight, which I would kind of describe as those an RPG. Are, none of those are RPGs. I'm sorry. I, I mean, Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Is. <laughs> Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. E -rank virtual encounters I mean, we're going to play Small Saga. Yeah, yeah, like flowers, flowers. Thank you. Hollow Knight is not an RPG. Are you saying like any game where you play a role is an RPG? Like, kind of. In which case, this is an RPG. Like everything except Tetris is an RPG, according to you. You know, if 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 that's what makes an RPG, then I should be the person replacing Charles Martinet because I've played Mario that many times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Uh, uh, Len, Len's asking for the sword. Bring back the sword. Bring back the sword. You did say you were to missing the sword. To be fair, I was missing the sword. I want to see if there is um, a new sword. I think there was. So. Oh, Sam. What the fuck is that? Oh. Is that a big sword? Pile bunker. A pile bunker. Sounds like something you need a cream for. Um, laser blade. Oh, that's an expensive laser blade. That's a big old laser blade. Can you try it before you buy it? Um, I don't know why they don't let you try these before you buy them. Uh, request for new hips. Request for new hips. <laughs> Hip replacement, you know. What is a pile bunker? Let's see. Um, oh, that's just a so big, you big just, punch. Oh, it's it's just like a mace. You yeah. just whack. Um, okay. And can we compare that to the big sword? Um, and oh, oh, you know it's that one. Oh, you know it's that one. You know it. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, I'm trying to think. I I think we might need to be a bit more agile for if we're going for a sword though. Yeah, um, we might need to say we, goodbye we to might the need uh, less legs. The... <laughs> um, <laughs> How about no legs? There's a no legs option. It's probably less agile than this. That's true. <laughs> um, now those get me overburdened. So uh, oh, are you going to be fat rolling? Uh. Can I see whether I can afford any legs? <laughs> I can't afford yeah, any you legs. You shouldn't have spent all your money on the sword. Oh, damn it. I might need a slightly less bulky... Legs. Right, right, we got this, we got this. So, um, the less bulky body... Yeah. The... No. Is it the arms doing me? I think yeah, it I think may have been the arms. Um, let's see. Can I... Yeah. <laughs> Just... You know what? There's something to that. There's something to that. Right? I think the issue with the tank tracks is that if we want the sword, we've got to be able to boost right up very quickly, so we've got to be a little bit nippy. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh, apparently Ooh. we can sell things Ooh. if we're not using them anymore. That's true, but I could just go and beat the shit out of some people in the arena. So There's a mecha? Well, no, we got to try that. Uh, we did a couple last time, but... Okay, what would be really cool is... Um, oh, yeah, this may even be it, but... If they have this sort of thing, but the things you thought were procedurally generated marks out of um, oh, that would be cool. the stuff that's in the shop. And then they give it a rating based on... That might very well be what this is, though. Oh, those oh. are some big old... Okay, you know, this, this person looks like a... He's called Bitter Promise? That's such a cool <gasps> name. Oh my god. Oh, I, I want him to win. I'm sorry, I'm rooting for Bitter Promise. I... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's partially... <laughs> he's got like oh, a yeah, whole we look Iron like a Man fucking aesthetic. Dork. <laughs> no, like, this looks like... This looks like a real mecha from a real mecha anime. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> At best, we look like we're in Gurren Lagann. <laughs> That was mean. I like Gurren Lagann. Holy shit! Sorry, this sword is very cool. Um. I think we look like a real mecha from a real mecha anime. I just think we look more like a mecha from Power Rangers. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> you know, when like Power Rangers mechas are composed out of 
all their vehicles so they just look like a wild hodgepodge of different things. Oh man. He, oh, did he bit? No. Yeah, he just no, no, thrashed no. him. Oh, I can't believe that. Evaluation. Well done. Oh boy. Wow. I would like to know in universe how they justify doing this with their own troops. Like, just having one guy smash the other guy up and then paying him for it. Vin Vincent <laughs> Tron and Leo Bot. <laughs> Sorry. That really got me. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. I, ah, uh, this sword is cool. Do you wanna, we've got five minutes left in the stream, Sam. Do you wanna... What do you mean we've got five minutes left we in the stream? we got five minutes left in the stream. There is well, you no should way have taken that has two, been two hours. You should have Jesus. taken two, less long, less time fighting oh. that fucking chicken thing. Oh. You know, like... Oh, I, I, I am sorry. I have not made a lot of progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I told you, it was, it, was the, it was the muscle center. It's muscle center all over again. Right, we've got, we've got to take on a couple... I, at least one more. Um, I think so. At least one more arena guy. Um, In fairness, everyone, he did have to do the entire mission before he even got to that boss fight, which is wild. Evaluation program. Number <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck are we doing with our oh mech? These are so badass. God. His name's Infection. And look at the hips. Oh, look at those the hips. hips. Oh, those are... Commencing evaluation. Human bearing hips. <laughs> <laughs> Just full grown adult human. Oh, we're back in that. the. the coral room where all those invisible guys were. Yeah. Uh, pains in the butt. Oh no, he's got a shield and he knows how to use it. This is the worst news ever. <laughs> like a man who knows how to use a shield. If you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. Oh! See? <laughs> 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 <sighs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lady Sorche. You you did miss um, me me defeating... I think you should lose Balthus. money if you lose these. Oh, that that would add that would add some complexity. <laughs> uh, Lens requested we just scrap everything and become a hot mecha. I would say we are a hot mecha. We're just a different kind of hot. I would say we're just constantly overheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we run hot. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, good grief. This guy's just got me. It's um, his bubble gun. Like, um, if we've yeah. got Splatoon players, this person's brought the blob lob up. And it's just, you know, like, Sometimes the blob lobber in the hands of a really good player. Right. It's difficult to play right. against. The blob lobber. Um, the blob lobber. I mean, it's got good inking. It's got makes great us sound like we are Mr. Blobby. <laughs> I mean. Blobby, blobby, blobby. Blob, 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 blob. Oh, you blob, could, blob, you, blob, you could blob, seriously do blobby, Foley blobby, for blobby, the next blobby. Splatoon game. Like, that's what most of the sound effects are. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Crossy Steampunk is literally about to play some Splatoon, so I need to get back to Splatoon. I've missed the last couple of Splatfests, uh, which sucks, like, because I love Splatoon and, you know, they don't do Splatfests forever, which sucks. Like, how resource intensive would it be just to let those run every month, you know? It doesn't seem like... <laughs> <laughs> Are you just quitting out? I think infections just got me. <sighs> um, <laughs> I feel like 
Uh, we're running hot now because we've got a fever. What? Because because we were infected by infection, so we've got a fever. Oh, and that's boy. why our mech is hot. Infection. Yeah, it was a laboured job. <sighs> it's fine. You know, they can't always be oh, winners. Boy. Sometimes you gotta just. Sometimes you just gotta tell the joke to know it's a bad joke. I'm. I think I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna take. <laughs> Take the W on on at least getting rid of Baltheus and um and you know give in to the infection. Yeah, Just, and really when the mech is that hot, is it really yeah, a loss? We can take some you know paracetamol that? and um hopefully beat that infection next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh ah, Bing Tron. Uh, <laughs> Bingtron 3000. I can't believe that's the name of the pilots, <laughs> not the mecha. <laughs> I am, that completely flew off my head. That I'm. Oh uh, yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this has been awesome. Oh my I god. Had a great time. Thanks. So I much am for so us. in love with this game. This game is so cool. Um, I am really loving it. Um. <laughs> Oh, so pretty. There are explosions and they're all sorts of different bright colours. I know, right? And there's so many cool mechs. And as as a great video game character once said, it is just like my Japanese anime. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, oh. yeah, that that is us for another week. We will be back next Monday with more mecha-based shenanigans and this episode is going to be up on YouTube on Friday um, yeah. unless you we forget to put it up on Friday <laughs> check out uh, YouTube if you are not giving a subscribe we'll let you see those vi videos I don't know where I'm going with that subscribe YouTube. to our YouTube com slash at Kofi Asam youtube.com slash you. at Kofi Asam watch yeah. the YouTube comment on the YouTube apparently it's good for the algorithm um, we love the algorithm. Yes, algorithm all hail the algorithm. Um, also, you can follow us on social media. Um, you can find Sam on Tumblr currently. Tumblr is your main base of operations yes. right now for social media. Um, you are at a Sam Kofi. And you can find Kofi over at Neither a Baron Um on Everywhere. Tumblr and on, um, I'm still going to call it Twitter. It's still Twitter. Fuck you. It's, it's still Twitter. Twitter. Um, and <laughs> yeah, that's where we will be. Um, you see, I avoided having to know my uh, username this week by uh, Kofi doing it for me. So, um, yeah. Yeah, um, like we've, we've actually never done that before because we <laughs> usually introduce each other. We've never introduced each other's social media before. So that, that's, that's, that's true. Nice. I feel like a couple of times I have I have gone, hey, you should go and support, um, you should go and support Kofi over at um Kofi, that is K O dash F I. It's pronounced coffee, like is in bias a coffee. And they just spell it like my Dot name is really. Slash Kofi, Kofi Young. Young. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where I am, I, I have actually started again because I wrote a song, but it was a bit depressing and the world's a bit depressing right now. So I'm not going to do the depressing song. I've started again on a less depressing song. So it's going to take me a heck, little bit longer than heck. it normally would, but um, it's going to be worth it, I think. Um, and, and it's going to have some hard slap back reverbing in, in there. Um, um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I, it's it's not it's not started the recording stage. I'm very much, very much still arranging it. Uh, but I had a nice time last night. Um, um, there's on obviously Musical. been a request uh, just for a slight bit of cathedral. Slight so, bit um, of cathedral. Yeah. Do you want some gothic chanting as well? Like ooh, in nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Um, I, I, <laughs> ever since I got this board, I have been having so much fun just singing sea shanties into this. This um, is. <laughs> this is going to annoy people on YouTube so much. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh it's yeah. Just, I, you know, it's already wild. People watching on YouTube, they have to get through like five <laughs> minutes of us talking <laughs> bullshit at the start before we do any gameplay. Um, it's bad for the algorithm. Hey. 
Yeah, but hey, that's that's the cathedral. <laughs> Take the cathedral away. <laughs> okay. Hey, oh, that that is that is dry. That is it's just so dry. That is dry. So I just dry. I just took <laughs> took all of the effects away. Um. <laughs> wow, the contrast. Um. <laughs> See, everyone loves the cathedral as much as I do, and I really love the cathedral. I'm saying there's a time and a place for a cathedral, you know? It's just oh. saying. Um, I think that is, I think that <laughs> yeah, is everything. Let's go that is, that is for real energy everything. energy gets any yeah. more um, completely batshit. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure hanging out. Um, we will see you next time. Um, take care of yourself. Do something nice for someone that isn't you. Um and do something nice for someone that is you as well. Hell yeah. Um, do something nice for both of you. Yeah. All Assuming right. you know another person. If you know several people, do something nice for lots of people. I don't know. Do something nice. Do something nice. Be excellent. Be excellent to each other. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>